Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. In today's video, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the 2024 Buick Encore GX Sport Touring. As with all of my reviews, I'm going to cover all of the ins and outs and take this thing on a thorough drive. There's a whole lot of stuff to cover, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up and let her run. For 2024, Buick's Encore GX, one of their most popular North American vehicles, receives a thorough refreshing. Sporting an updated exterior design and a new tech-centric interior that's a more modern, sophisticated, and stylish take on the premium compact SUV. The updated Encore GX also offers an Avenir trim for the first time, which represents the highest expression of Buick luxury. In my previous review, we checked out the new Invista, which is Buick's newest entry model crossover. Comparing the two, the Encore GX is about 11 inches shorter in overall length and 4 inches shorter in wheelbase. The roofline is about 3 inches higher and doesn't slope back like the Invista. The Encore GX is more or less your typical compact crossover that offers a more premium experience versus its mechanical cousin, the Chevrolet Trailblazer. Not only is it more upscale from a design perspective, but it has nicer interior furnishings and a more refined driving experience. It splits the difference between mainstream and premium. The new front fascia design language was inspired by the Buick Wildcat EV concept and features a dynamic, forward-leaning front end that comes to a point at the brand's new TriShield logo. An updated modern grille pairs with new signature winged LED headlamps to create a distinctive visual presence. Of course, there's new wheel styles too. The rear styling features Buick's new logo and topography prominently displayed in the center of the tailgate, while new LED tail lamps come standard on ST and Avenir trims. The ST also comes standard with high gloss black front and rear bumpers and is offered with an optional black roof package. The Avenir, being the more luxury focused of the bunch, features distinctive styling cues such as additional chrome trim, body color fascias and side moldings, fancier wheels, and all of the bells and whistles, including unique taillights. The Encore GX is currently offered in three trim levels including the Preferred, the Sport Touring, or ST, and the Avenir. Two powertrains are offered as well as the option of front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. Base pricing before options ranges between $26,895 and $33,195. There's up to eight exterior colors to choose from depending on the trim level. This example is finished in Cinnabar Metallic, which is a $495 option on the ST. This example is also equipped with several optional packages, including the Experience Buick Package, the Advanced Technology Package, the Comfort Package, and the Black Roof Package. All in, with destination, the total MSRP for the Sport Touring we're checking out today is $34,670. The Encore GX is available with a variety of 18-inch and 19-inch alloy wheels. The Preferred and ST both come standard with 18-inch wheels. They're the same style, only the Preferred's wheels are painted silver and the ST's wheels are painted black. They're 7.5 inches wide and are wrapped in 225-55 all-season tires. These wheels in particular, also finished in gloss black, are part of the Experience Buick package. 
They measure 19 by 8 inches and are wrapped in 245-45 all-season tires. The Avenir shares the same style of wheel, but they feature a unique pearl nickel finish. Stopping power comes from four-wheel disc brakes with electronic power assistance. The rotor span 11.8 inches in the front and 10.4 inches in the rear. They're clamped down by single piston calipers. The discs benefit from GM's DuraLife technology, which uses a process called ferritic nitrocarburizing to give them superior resistance to corrosion and rust. The front discs are internally ventilated for improved cooling. With this setup, the Encore GX stops smoothly and sure-footedly with great stability. The parking brake is an electronic setup, engaged by a button in the center console behind the shifter. The suspension consists of independent McPherson struts in front and a compound crank setup in the rear. When equipped with all-wheel drive, the rear suspension is upgraded to a Watts-Link design for improved handling, ride quality, and cabin isolation. I thought the overall handling and stability was quite good. It's not really agile per se, but it takes curves well without too much body roll and the ride quality is pretty supple. It feels more like a car than an SUV. The Encore GX is also capable of light duty towing. With the optional trailering package, you get a special trailer hitch trim bezel for the rear bumper, of course the hitch itself, and the electrical connector. When equipped, you're able to tow up to 1,000 pounds. The steering is an electric rack and pinion setup that's surprisingly weighty, which offers a sportier feel. The turning circle with the larger wheels is 36.8 feet. The ST's flat bottom steering wheel is leather wrapped with grip bolsters at 10 and 2, plus a plethora of controls, including radio controls on the back of the steering wheel. The steering wheel is also manually adjustable for tilt and reach. A really nice standard feature is the 8 inch diagonal color driver information center. It's incorporated into the wide one piece curved instrument panel which also includes the central infotainment system. It provides key vehicle information such as vehicle speed, fuel range, average fuel economy, tire pressure, oil life, trip odometer, warning icons, and more. It's also reconfigurable with different display formats. Using the buttons on the right side of the steering wheel, you can switch between the various display formats to suit your preference. The Encore GX is offered with two turbocharged three-cylinder engines, either a 1.2 liter or a 1.3 liter. The 1.2 liter is only available on the preferred trim. All trims and both engines come standard with front wheel drive and a continuously variable transmission. An all wheel drive system is also available on all trims, but it only comes with the 1.3 liter engine and replaces the CVT with a 9 speed automatic transmission. The entire all wheel drive package dependent on the trim is around $1600. It's a selectable system that allows you to decide whether to activate all-wheel drive in off-road or inclement weather situations, or to deactivate all-wheel drive when it's not required for better fuel economy. As far as performance, the 1.2 liter engine develops 137 horsepower at 5,000 RPM and 162 pound-feet of torque at 2,500 RPM. The 1.3 liter engine develops 155 horsepower at 5,600 RPM and 174 pound-feet of torque at 1,600 RPM. Both engines are constructed from aluminum and feature double overhead camshafts, 4 valves per cylinder, variable valve timing, and direct fuel injection. With the 1.3 liter, the Encore GX accelerates to 60 miles an hour in about 9 seconds. Around town, it feels plenty peppy, but higher speed maneuvers and passing requires more careful planning. Acceleration is leisurely, but it's more than adequate for city use. That being said, if you plan on a lot of highway commuting, I would definitely recommend the larger engine and all-wheel drive for extra assurance. 
Along with a 3.17 to 1 final drive ratio, the 9-speed automatic transmission has an electronic range select feature that allows you to manually select which gears you want the transmission to shift between. It's engaged by pulling the shifter all the way back to the L position. Unlike its mechanical counterpart, the Chevrolet Trailblazer, the Encore GX does not have any selectable drive modes. The all-wheel drive system has the ability to shuffle additional torque to the rear wheels for extra traction when needed. When it comes to fuel economy, the larger engine with all-wheel drive is rated between 26 miles per gallon in the city and 28 miles per gallon on the highway. During my week of mixed driving, I averaged around 27 miles per gallon. Without all-wheel drive, you can expect to see higher mileage, upwards of 30 miles per gallon on average. I haven't tried out the smaller engine in the Encore GX, but according to EPA estimates, the average should be around 30 miles per gallon. The Encore GX uses regular unleaded gasoline and has a total tank capacity of 13.2 gallons. A selectable auto start stop system is standard. The Encore GX's updated interior is centered around Buick's new virtual cockpit system. It features 19 diagonal inches of high-definition screens under one sheet of glass, comprising an 11-inch diagonal infotainment system and a configurable 8-inch diagonal instrument cluster screen, both angled towards the driver for intuitive control. The quality of materials are mixed, with more hard surfaces than soft, but at least for the front seats, there's soft touch materials on all of the essential touch points, and even fancier detailing with the Avenir trim. The ST features a sporty, flat bottom steering wheel and logos stitched into the headrest. Standard Buick Quiet Tuning combines several technologies to help reduce, block, and absorb unwanted sounds for a quiet interior, including active noise cancellation. 
On the preferred and sport touring, a six-way manual driver's seat is standard, along with a four-way manual passenger seat. An eight-way power driver's seat with two-way power lumbar is available, along with a flat folding front passenger seat back, heated front seats, and a heated steering wheel. The standard upholstery is a combination of cloth and leatherette. The Sport Touring gets full leatherette upholstery. All upholsteries are offered in either black or whisper beige. The front seats are pretty comfortable overall. The biggest differences between the trim levels when it comes to interior design is mainly upholstery, steering wheel shape, and creature comforts. The Avenir offers a number of exclusive features, such as genuine leather upholstery with detailed stitching, a power adjustable passenger seat, a dual zone automatic climate control system, an auto dimming rear view mirror, memory settings for the driver's seat, and more. The 11 inch diagonal HD color touchscreen is standard, along with a 7 speaker audio system. The capacitive touch design works just like a smartphone for ease of use. In addition to standard wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you have Bluetooth audio streaming, the ability to connect two Bluetooth-enabled devices simultaneously, Sirius XM satellite radio, and a voice command system. The infotainment system is very simple, with just the basics included. Having the smartphone integration technologies allows you to port over your favorite navigation and media apps and more. A 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot is standard. Type-A and Type-C USB data and charging ports can be found in the center console, along with a 12-volt power outlet. The standard single-zone climate control system is simple enough to use with manual controls and buttons. The Avenir's automatic dual-zone setup features digital readouts and nicer-looking controls. It also allows you to operate the climate system from the infotainment system. As I mentioned earlier, the Sport Touring is offered with a variety of packages, many of which include options I've covered already or will be covering soon. One package in particular, the Experience Buick Package, gives you a panoramic power moonroof with a power sunshade. The Encore GX comes standard with Buick's Driver Confidence Package which includes a bunch of active safety and driver assistance technologies such as automatic emergency braking, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, IntelliBeam auto high beams, hill start assist, forward collision alert, following distance indicator, and more. You also have some extras such as teen driver, buckle to drive, and rear seat reminder. A high definition rear vision camera with backup lines is standard. Available safety technologies include lane change alert with side blind zone alert, adaptive cruise control, rear cross traffic alert, rain sense automatic windshield wipers, rear park assist, and HD surround vision. With the surround vision system, you can select between different camera views of the area around the vehicle. As far as airbags, the Encore GX features frontal airbags for the driver and front passenger, seat mounted side impact airbags for the driver and front passenger, head curtain airbags for the front and rear outboard seating positions, and knee airbags for the driver and front passenger. In its basic configuration, the Encore GX's rear seat is not much to write home about, but it does offer a pretty good amount of room overall for a smaller crossover. I will say the Encore GX does not offer quite as much room as the new Invista, mainly because of its smaller wheelbase, but most folks shouldn't have an issue. The headrests are adjustable and foldable for extra visibility, but the rest of the seat is fixed in place, with the exception of the folding mechanisms that help expand cargo space. It's not until you get into the Avenir that you get some nicer amenities. One thing that I wish it had was adjustable air vents to improve airflow and comfort for rear passengers. Being 5 foot 10 inches, I didn't have any issues with rear seat space. I had plenty of head and leg room left over to be comfortable. Like I mentioned earlier, the front passenger seat is offered with a backrest folding feature, which can be used for hauling longer items or if you were sitting in the back seat and wanted to put your feet up. 
You can seat up to three people back here, and there's latched child seat anchors in all three positions. The rear seat has good padding and is decently comfortable. Overhead, there's grab handles, coat hooks, and overhead lighting on each side of the roof. A manually operated liftgate is standard on the preferred and ST trims. However, you can opt for a power liftgate for added convenience. The Avenir is available with a hands-free power liftgate when you tack on the Avenir convenience package. It makes it easier to load cargo if your arms are full. It'll open or close when the system senses the key fob and you wave your foot underneath the left-hand side of the rear bumper. There's also an illuminated logo projection that pinpoints the sensor at night for easier use. Electronic obstacle detection will reverse an automatic open or close if it senses something is in its path to help prevent damage to the lift gate. As far as the manual operation, it's pretty light and easy to open. A removable privacy cover is standard to keep prying eyes off your cargo. Behind the rear seat, you have 23.5 cubic feet of cargo space. The rear seat is a 60-40 split design for cargo and passenger flexibility. If you folded everything flat, you'll notice that the load floor transition is also flat, which is really nice. The Encore GX has a total cargo capacity of 50.2 cubic feet. On the right side of the trunk floor, you'll find a decent sized cubby, and on the left side, illumination. Under the trunk floor is where you'll find a temporary spare tire and all of the necessary changing equipment. There's also enough space underneath there if you need to stow additional emergency items. One pretty cool thing is that the trunk floor can be repositioned in a way that you can gain additional vertical space for taller items and still cover everything underneath. Considering its size, the Encore GX has great interior storage too. The center console has two cup holders and a couple of storage cubbies, including the one underneath the padded armrest, plus large door pockets. The Sport Touring is offered with a wireless phone charger. Various USB outlets in the front and rear allow for easy device connectivity and charging. The glove box isn't lockable, but has an impressive amount of space. The rear seat has a single seat back pocket on the passenger side except for the Avenir, which has two pockets and a fold down armrest with two cup holders. You also have lower door storage in the rear doors. Well everyone, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please don't forget to leave a like down below because it really helps the videos a lot. And if you haven't subscribed already, consider doing so. And make sure you turn your notifications on so you don't miss out on the upcoming videos. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.